Hey guys, Al from Montana here. If you want to see what happens on a tugboat over here in the Miami River and uh, our skyline, stay tuned because you have an incredible video, something like you've never seen and it's all done at night. So let's go guys, let's continue. Um, I saw also in the beginning you had to adjust because of that really expensive yacht that was here kind of like one of these guys i saw that you you brought the ship really really close almost slightly kissing the other old cargo ship that's on the right to be able to get the angle so you can not do anything to that big yacht that was in your way yeah Which, yeah, yeah we'll try to try to avoid the the, the shiny stuff and the, you know, the lesser two eagles is certainly the rusty ship. The so we got to lay it up on that ship, but uh, I mean that's a dead ship anyways. You know, there's there's no harm in doing that, but I'd rather 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 touch that than, than, than the shiny yacht. You know, yeah, I, I, I mean, steel I, on steel is one thing, but you know, steel on fiberglass. Is, you know, I saw that. Like I was like I was I was like he has to put that in that position right now because that boat's in the way. You guys wanted amazingness. <laughs> You're gonna get amazingness. Alfred Montaner is on the Sarah. Captain Morgan! What is going on? Oh, this is, this is interesting. Nice. Wow! That is such a cool rig. Guys, meet your captain today. Captain Morgan from Miami River towing. And uh, wow, what a spot, man. Look at this. There's so much history. You and I, we're going to have a cool conversation. We're doing the very first ever night towboat tug. I mean, what, what, what's the game plan? What's going to happen today? We're going for a ride. We're going for a ride? Oh my goodness, guys. So we're going to talk about the Sarah. And we got a couple of guys on board, huh, Captain? Yes, we do. We do. So we got a... Uh, uh, who do I introduce first? They're both like the, the, the best. Um, uh, Olio, uh, my engineer. Uh, Eric, first mate, incredible guys, really good what they do. All right. So you're in good hands. Okay. All right, so, and then later I'll talk to you and ask you what some of their job requirements are and what are the duties while you're working. So, um, right now, are we waiting on anything like tide? How is the tide? Is there anything that we have to wait on? Or? Yeah, the, the tide is high at, uh, at 21.50 today, so that's 9.45 p.m. Uh, we're going to get out an hour before the high tide. The tide rises, we'll be out there dead at high tide because these ships they have a deep draft and um, we don't have a lot of space in the river so we're basically you know we got we got a foot sometimes maybe less under, okay under the field. Um, so we're going to start up the bandits here in a second we got, we got mr spencer walking on here mr spencer how you doing spencer good you're going to be on the on the on the baboon uh no i'm going to be up on the ship oh so he's going to be actually being the pilot oh i got a job for you man yeah, we're, don't don't worry about it. You you just came into the fire pit. It's good, good money. Good money. You're good. You're good. I heard I heard you got a lot of experience here, so we're good. All right, All right guys. So listen, I don't want to get uh, in the way right now. I know there's a lot going on, but I want to film whatever you guys are doing. So just act like Alfred Montan is not here. All right. Let's let's crank them up, guys. All right, guys. Let's go. They're gonna crank up the engines. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. Let's see what happens here. Oh my goodness, this is, guys, I don't know how much light I'm going to have while I'm in here, but it's very dark. I bought, I brought my best equipment, so you guys, oh my god. Welcome to amazingness. Here you go. I'm gonna let you borrow that while you're on the boat. And all you gotta do is press a button and you're gonna get the perspective view filming from the top of the cargo ship. So, welcome, you're my cameraman today.
crazy is that? How nuts is that, guys? So we're losing definitely some light. We're doing this night uh, trip. So you guys are going to see an epic skyline of the city of Miami. And honestly, I have no idea what we're going to expect, but it should be very cool. Is this one a door? Yes, it is a door. Is it a door? Yes, it is. It's a door slash window. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't supposed to go in through there, but welcome to the tug life guys these guys got uh they got a little bit of everything here man i feel like i am on a whole different world guys dale sin pena dale hazlo tuyo go 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 sin pena dale sin pena here's you have uh your head wow you even have a shower here nice sink and uh here is, uh, you got two bunks. Cool. All right, guys, so we're going to go where Captain Morgan is. Oh, man, let me tell you. We're going to have to push these cameras to the limit, guys. We have to push these cameras to the limit. here doing this for you guys this is incredible stuff I'll tell you it's my goal for videos like this to inspire young people to go ahead and see what maybe other professions that they can do <laughs> welcome to the Miami River my friends this is Miami the Miami you'll never see especially at night So now what we're gonna do is we gotta pick up the other ship. They're gonna tie it on and, um, and begin the process. So here you have some local marinas guys down here along the river. I've actually done walking tours of these areas. So if any of you guys are interested in kind of finding out what's on the other side here, there's definitely walking tours that we've done during the day that you guys can check out. So much history coming in and out of the river. And I want you guys to see how tight it is, right? Let me get it. Start moving a little bit. Definitely want to get you guys some different angles and perspectives. Look at this house on the water or restaurant on the water. If I'm not mistaken, this is Jones boatyard right here that is a Fisher Island ferry or maybe an old one but there's a very wealthy island over here right off of Miami Beach called Fisher Island Look at this, me too. Look at this. Wow. Guys, and I do believe we're about to come up on the Hempstead Marine tugboats. 
which I did on incredible video with Greg and Norman from Hempson Marine. It's the Atlas and the Gene Ruth. And they're coming up here to our right. Look at this yacht. Look at this, guys. Oh my goodness, wow. Look at them right there, guys. The Atlas and the Gene Ruth, guys. If you want to see the video, I'm going to link it to the first tugboat series that we did. And this is a continuation of the river. Uh, you definitely want to see all the tugboat series. Cool. That is so cool, man. Now, in that series, uh, I was talking to Greg, which was a tail tug at the time, and he was telling me that he has a friend named Morgan, and this is the Morgan he was talking about. This is the captain he was talking about. Uh, that's got radio. Uh, I'm passing you this one anyway because it's your guys. Hey, you on the radio? What's up? Good, hey, what up? Is that good, Glorious Maximus? Yes, sir, good evening. I broke Spartacus. Uh, the legend is all in position very nice to announce barge over there at the shooter shack. I'm running to go grab the Elizabeth, and then we're going to go, so just to let you guys know, don't get in a huge rush. The wolf. The wolf. Why'd I call you the wolf? Ah, uh, the wolf is breaking shit. <laughs> yeah, that's not the wolf. Well, the wolf has backup. We do have a backup plan, but... The idea was not to break shit in the first place. I broke it. I think I broke it pretty good too. Backup land, no backup land always. Always. That's why you're the wolf. Shoot, you're my backup land off the top. Back up to the backup. Oh, that, that's Greg is coming back? He's working He's working on a different little tugboat today. Oh, really? Uh, but uh, I guess the other one broke. So. Was that him on the radio? That was just Greg right there, yeah. Oh, yeah. let me go say what's up to Greg. Does he know I'm on board? I don't think so. Oh, my goodness. Wow, the guys. All right, so what I was just talking about just now was Greg from Hempstead Marine. And he says, Captain Morgan says that he's using a backup right now and he's on a smaller tug. That is no, that is too, that is too awesome. That is Greg. Guys, this is what I want you guys to see, how they all help each other here on the river. Hey Greg, don't ever call me sir again! Yes sir! <laughs> what? What are you doing? <laughs> Good to see you man! Oh boy, that's Greg from Henson Marine guys. So I gotta talk, I gotta talk and ask Morgan that because I've seen uh, tow captains do that. They all tow each other in. They don't drive the other boat back. They tore it back. That is so freaking awesome, dude. How cool is that? Guys, I'm gonna try to, I know this is gonna be one of these long videos, but you know what, I'll tell you, watch it, pause it, take, take your time, because I want you guys to capture this whole experience with me. So 
the baboon is going to be uh, pulling and the the actual uh, Sarah is going to be the tail tug and we're the tail tug today guys it's always more interesting at the tail tug guys just the front tug just kind of pulls you know so it's always an uh, interesting scenario let me see what I can see over here where the ship is that we're going to be picking up see all the arrangements that they had to do they had to already call the pilot make sure the pilot has enough time to go ahead and uh, you know steer the ship out of um, the basin where they're going to go ahead and tow it out to so we're going to get out out of the Miami River and then there's an opening that the tugboat captains will turn the boat the pilot will get on the boat take it out into open ocean and then a pilot boat will pick up the pilot and bring the pilot back and then the ship is you know off sailing to wherever it's going to go Morgan, can I ask you a question? Yes. I saw that, I've seen that already a couple times, right? Smaller tugs will always, when they finish a, a tow or something, they pull, they pull each other back and both of the captains are on the same boat. Is, yeah. that, is that a normal thing or? For, for those tugboats it is, they save fuel like that and you know, save um, you know, hours on the engines. So, but they, they, we, the, the ship that usually stays here, is, uh, they had a problem with the one tugboat so they had to go back and get Greg's other tugboat. Okay. So they're gonna leave the tugboat that broke down there, and uh, and then Greg's gonna go pick the other tugboat right now. And are they are they gonna go pick up a uh, boat now? It's it's right here, I guess, um, east of sorry, west of twenty seven. Okay. Uh, cool. So there, like, so Greg has an extra tugboat. Luckily, that's that's why we call him the Wolf. The Wolf. Stuff. From, from, uh, this you whole, can't whole fiction, right? you can't you He's can't fixer, make man. you can't make this up man let me tell you he was so nonchalant when i was you guys you can't you guys are unshakable when you're over here at the helm man i try i try to get you guys off your rhythm but it's it's not that easy so we're gonna we're gonna wait for him to get the other one and then we can go pick up the no, we're gonna pick up the ship right here but now th this one to our left delay us a little bit so now we'll reschedule the pilots Hey, the wolf is coming. Be careful. <laughs> the wolf. That is Greg. He's on the Elizabeth. My friends, back to pick up this ship here to the left of us. We got the Sarah Regina and uh, this is where I tell you guys where these guys, believe it or not, will have to squeeze one of those cargo ships past these ships and, uh, and then dock it. So, we got the, uh, the island breeze. This is the Baboon Express, guys, and I just filmed recently these uh, two tugs pulling this particular boat, a little cargo ship, to uh, pass the river during the day. So I'll link that as well. But look at that. There's 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 brand new trucks back there. There's containers. The 
this is always when it gets exciting. Now, you guys remember in the video that we recently did, walking, do it, walking tour, that there was a very cool place that uh, had a lot of old marine artifacts and stuff like that, and it was right there to our right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go down, we're gonna go down. I wanna get a little uh, a little closer, a little bit more intimate for you guys. Let's, uh, let's see what the uh, captain is doing here. There is Spencer. He just boarded the ship. See, he's gonna be he's gonna be giving the information of what he sees to Captain Morgan. So he'll be on a radio and he's gonna get to the top. Look, you guys see all those boats that come in and out of the river? These guys are coming in and out of the river right now. Okay, if you look, these guys are going to start putting these lines and start getting everything set up. The baboon is up front. The guys on the actual ship are going to throw a, a ball to, I forgot what it's called, I'll ask Captain now, but they'll throw a ball that's kind of basically on the rope. And then the guys here on the, on the actual tugboats will tie them up. Maybe these guys will go ahead and do it. So see what's going on up here so that quick you lose a friend yeah right uh, man, I don't know it's the first time I've seen this one here so yeah we're starting to stack these shots up over here which is a real big problem for, for us so that so you guys don't know that that was gonna be here uh, this is a new one they just stayed open this place up here a couple months ago this was this was a new one and now they're, they're, not, they're not gonna live a long life there i tell you <laughs> so so guys when i was telling you guys about how tight things are look look at this where they're gonna have to move this Look, you see, this is the first challenge already. So th this is the real stuff that happens, guys. Okay. 
it's going to be tricky here, man, because with these guys and the, the yachts, uh, it does leave us a lot of room. And, you know, sometimes we get ships over here and you can... Well, doesn't the marina advise them, hey, listen, you guys got cargo ships that are coming in out of here? You would think they would. You would think they would. So now, now you have to actually worry about multiple things. You got to worry about the ship that you're to towing and then the the yachts and everything else that's yeah. along the middle. Yeah. I was actually talking about that earlier because I was like, I mean, what, how much room do you guys got per side, right? You know, usually this is always pretty much has, has been ships up here. So, you know, if I owned a yacht, I wouldn't want it here. So, so I mean, if you if you rub a, a ship, it's it, it, it could happen, right? It, it, it happens, yeah. You know, we, Get a little Vaseline, put a little Vaseline on there, and uh, you know we, we, we get through. But um, you know the, the ship owners understand that this is this is this is the way it works up here. You know we don't have a lot of room. We got uh, you know these, these ships are you know sometimes over 50 feet, 50 feet, 50 feet, 50 feet, 50 feet 47. Now these guys are gonna throw a line over here, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, look what these guys are doing here. You see that? They just threw the line. They throw the line. See that ball that I was telling you? Listo. He said listo means I'm ready in Spanish. So now he's going to start pulling all the, the ropes through. See these guys now? Now they got the... Now there's another one that's going to be thrown. That's the other line. Here is another ship that's here. Guys, can you imagine the weight of those? All right, there are the, both of the lines. There are both of the lines. This is going to be a tricky situation. Um, thank you, thank you. Here's the tension. I want to stay here guys because I already know this is kind of tricky and I want to let the captain do his job. Just think about it, he's got a... <laughs> he's got to put a thread through a needle. So now we have the tension. I'm gonna get inside. I'm gonna get inside, guys. I want to give this some perspective.
They're picking up the lines that were on the actual dock over there. And it looks like uh, the baboon is starting to pull some. see the ship moving slight, slightly crazy dude wow this is so crazy look at this wow guys Just like that, guys. Look how close we are here. my god now i understand why he was saying that the owner of that yacht is probably not gonna wanna leave his his really expensive yacht here on the river a little bit of vaseline right
it's still it's still trying to move a little. It's fighting you guys, huh? Well, we're trying to get to get it off the dock here. We don't have room. We've got to ship there. We've got to ship here. So, yeah. 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 I'm pulling it back. I'm pulling it back now. Let me come this way, or, or you know, if you feel comfortable, man, roll with it. I'm trying to roll with it, but it's not doing something. Yeah, I don't know if I can have to do that. Is it going to be a ship? Is it going to be a ship? Let me pull you back. Yeah, I'm going to pull you back for a time. Look at this, guys. Look how tight this is. Imagine, imagine having to do this. Just gonna stay here patiently, guys. I want you guys to see everything that's going on here. They're right now all on the radio, and uh, Spencer's communicating with the captain, and the captain of uh, of the baboon is also in communication right now. So they're working. They're working. The, the cargo ship trying to get her as steady as possible so they can slowly maneuver her past this really expensive yacht and these other ships that are along here are tight on the river. He has to like look like it's about a foot away, and now he just literally moves her out. Look at the adjustments that they've had to make. They're trying to get that angle to stay away from that really expensive yacht now. So the other tug is pulling on the opposite direction to, to give more distance from the front. There he goes. Feel the weight 
every time that those you know, massive ropes just start jolting the actual tug and you feel the weight of that cargo ship. Now it is, guys, this is high pressure. I don't even want to be in there right now. I have a camera going in there and uh, this is super scary stuff. Nice and slow, very slow and steady. how they gave themselves more distance from the actual yacht. See now they, you see over there in the very front, they don't have much to worry about over there and that's where he's pulling it. Wow, dude, this is crazy, bro. <laughs> wow, man, this is so crazy. Wow, that was the first challenge of the night, guys. <laughs> There's so many more. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's the unique. And here's the other ship that is Oh boy, oh man, this is crazy, bro. This is so crazy, dude. Oh my God. Wow. Bro. Wow. Holy smack. Hey, do me a favor, move your, move your yacht from here, bro, trust me. Trust me, luckily, luckily, luckily I got everything on camera. You didn't get touched. Wow, look how they're lighting up. They're lighting up right here, the other ship. So it gives an idea of the distance. Guys, oh my goodness. One down.
Captain, I ain't gonna lie, I'm stressed out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'm stressed out. I, I don't know about you, but I'm stressed out. That's a tricky situation, and they have another ship that stays there, too. So once that thing comes back in, it'll be real interesting. Is that the drawbridge we're hearing already? That's that's Tamiami, I think we're hearing there. Um, and then we got 27th. Twelfth, fifth, Lagman first, second, Miami first. You, you, uh, I, I, I didn't, I didn't think it was gonna be possible. I was like, oh, we're gonna have to call it. We're gonna have to scrub today's uh, mission. But wow, you guys threaded that through a needle, man. Incredible. Does, does it get a little bit easier once we get further away from the river, or? No. No? <laughs> okay. It's just, that's there's different, different, different spots, and, you know, like, you know, so like go from, from, you know, being, you know, very relaxed, and, you know, so you have a, you know, a beautiful lightning storm, or, or, you know, moon, or sunrise, sunset, and mm -hmm. you, know, you get something like this, and you get a bunch of, you know, crazy builders, and a lot of traffic, and... Are you seeing a lot of a lot more traffic on the Miami River, like from like uh, tourists and charters and all that crazy stuff? Yeah, a lot. We're, we're a lot. seeing a lot of that because we film we film a lot of that. Yeah. So I'm sure that can be a challenge as well. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. So, so that was in call 27th right there. So, so who would be responsible for talking to the bridges now? Would it be the baboon or you? That's the lead tug. Yeah. The lead tug. So, yeah, so that's, that's absolutely there. He's calling the bridge. He just responded. So they call the bridges. They, the lead tug handles the traffic situation, passenger situations. And we just, we're, we're on damage control back here. Yeah. So, you know, basically our job is to steer the ship. And, um, Did, does, and you're relaying to him everything you're seeing as well when you're seeing something interesting that he can help you with. Yeah, yeah, and, and so is Spencer. That's, so Spencer is the lookout, he's the pilot right now, so that's really, that's our, he's, he's both our eyes and ears, but he's more my eyes. Um, so if I'm over here pushing, you know, I got a brick in the bow right now to the north, so Spencer, once he sees me, he's gonna go to the opposite side, opposite side that I'm on. Okay. So that's what he's telling me. I see you right now. Yeah, so he'll go, he's calling the distance over here, you know, if I'm on one side, he goes to the other side, or, you know, or we just have, have uh, there's nothing on, on the south side right now, so. Here's the here's the first bridge, guys. We're coming up along the first bridge. Tight, tight line, he said. Wow, you guys are gonna see the skylight of Miami. How beautiful it is! Very shortly, guys. Stick around. There's nothing like this in the world, man. Let me tell you something. I'm so, so honored to be out here on the river with all these guys that work out here. Here you have the Naya. And if you see in the backdrop, the bridges are starting to come up.
go see what the guys are doing over here. Stick with me guys, I want you guys to, to see everything as it's happening. Definitely got a different perspective now. Now we're in it. So here's the snapback area. So he's got to stay here a certain distance because the pressure from those lines, if they snap, obviously will be a huge problem. That a little, that'll be a huge problem, guys. So you want to stay away from a certain area so but look at the look at the tension here so he's about to pass the very first bridge and for those of you guys that are local or you're watching on Google Maps right now we're passing the 27th Avenue drawbridge and here's the gas station right here um, in the corner and I believe there's a a Palacio de los Hugo, which is kind of like a, a food by the pound place right here close by. Got a big old barge here in the corner. And, um, now once we pass 27th Avenue, for those of you guys that are not from here, South River Drive and North Northwest South River Drive is basically on both these sides, this side and the opposite side over here. And I did a walking tour of this whole area, guys. I walked and uh, it's a very interesting walking tour. And then I walk along some of the marinas and stuff like that. So you guys can see a little bit of that aspect. So the baboon, is exactly like you see this this one and he's pulling from here on the opposite tug and here's the uh, first drawbridge look at this guys Do me a favor, smash that like for these guys, man. These guys are busting their ass over here. It's almost as close that we can actually touch this thing. This is crazy. You guys gotta share this video, man. You guys have to share this video, man. pressure on the lines let me cross over all right so when you guys start seeing people coming and you're seeing boat zone filming out of the Miami River and they're filming out of the mouth of the river the people begin 
boarding right on starting 27th Avenue. So, like people right here, they'll have a, you know, a fishing boat, a charter boat, you know, and they start chartering people up and down the river, coming along and picking up people uh, along here. So, this is typically what we've seen, and um, I think I think there's a lot of people that are that are chartering out of, out uh, out of the Miami River and. Some of the bo uh, bo boat uh, tugboat captains are concerned that not everybody uh, is probably doing the right thing and they want to make sure that you guys understand how difficult this job is, right? So always give them the right of way or kind of give them a heads up uh, with what you're going to do, right? Because they, they can't move as fast as you can. This is a little corner right here, guys, that uh, you'll see people also getting picked up. I would say the majority of the charters that you're seeing going up and down the Miami River are coming from this little island right here. I forgot what it's called. I mean, I'll, I'll put it below, guys. But this right here, if you look, all these boats, you'll see and you'll recognize many of them. Look, there's already a boat coming in here along the side just to make it a little difficult for these guys. Oh boy. Now look, 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 look at them, look at them, look at them, look at them, look at them. See, this is what these guys have to deal with every day. And sometimes there's bigger boats to try to squeeze. When I was filming recently, there were some boat ramps that I just recently, I did a video. Obviously, maybe when you see this video, it'll probably be a little different. But here to the left is where you're gonna see the footage of both of these tugs working, pulling this same boat. And I'm gonna go back upstairs. I wanna go ahead and get the perspective shot up there. But this is exactly, oh boy, look at this guys. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, that is so crazy. My goodness. Look at that, man. Holy smack. Wow, that was so crazy. All right, let's go back inside. So this is where I was the other day, Captain. I was filming right along this area, getting this perspective of you guys doing this during the day. Yeah, it's a different perspective from up here. 
it's, versus being down in the water. So. It's it's night and day. It's so crazy. Um, you know, just look. I was literally right there parked. I got a thirty-six dollar ticket. Thank you, City of Miami, uh, for Montana contributing to. You know, I paid it like four times too. They got me like on the last twelve minutes, probably waiting for this ship to pass. But I got it. I got it, guys. It was the worth. It was the best thirty-six bucks I've I've sent Miami. So this is a brand new ramp. This might be a little challenging and interesting in the future too, right? When this is full capacity over here, this ramp here. Yeah, yeah, they were. Yeah, you get a lot of boat traffic here on the weekend, especially. And, uh, yeah. Now, so sometimes, sometimes any night, you know, even like the night like tonight, or the Thursday, you can, you know, you can have a lot of traffic. You, you never really know. Yeah. The city, um, but. Get back, get back. Oh no! Listen, I, I, I you know, I do a a, a, a show a show called Chit Show, and it's basically boat ramp commentary, and it's 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 uh, interesting to say the least. And and actually, I came here just to film you guys, and I and co coincidentally, I was able to film a boat ramp uh, video that day. I think you get some good ones here for sure. I no, trust me, I, I'm gonna be back. Uh, look, it, there's there's people there now. Yeah. Look, guys. When I was younger, so my dad used to take me down to the boat ramp, and uh, every once in a while, oh. and, uh, and, you know, you get to get a six pack or whatnot, and we just go down there and watch watch the show. The, ch the chit show with the sea, you got it. That's what it was. Right? You see it all. Down there. <laughs> yeah, the horses and the fights. And everything. Yeah. Yep. Everything happens. Listen, uh, it. I always tell people it's the gift that keeps on giving, but I, I say it a little bit. More interesting than that, I'm gonna go ahead and refer them to watch some of the Chicho videos that I've done. But uh, I'll tell you, every time I see you guys doing this and w once I'm getting all these perspectives, it's just, I mean, what made you get into this, Morgan? Uh, um, you know, it's, 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 it always changes. What do we get into it? So, um, you know, I've been on boats since I was a kid. Uh, my grandfather, Bahia Mar Fort Lauderdale, yeah. where the Fort Lauderdale boat show is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was one of the first fishing boats there on on, on the dock there in the, in the 60s, and the 70s, and um, yeah, then uh, then my uncle was it was a pilot for Everglades, and um, you know I just always was always around boats and everything. And, um, Did you ever do anything with the pilot since family was within the pilot system? It doesn't work like that anymore. Um, it doesn't work like that anymore, you know. I, I did work for the pilots there for a little while, um, and, uh, run the pilot boats. But uh, it used to be, it used to be more, um, that, that's the way it used to work, but now it, it doesn't. Um, it hasn't worked like that for a long time. But um, yeah, that's, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was a cool job too. Um, you know, they got the same, uh, you know, when we, we drop off this ship, you'll, you'll see one of the pilot boats come out and, and get it. Um, are we gonna pick one up on the way in as well, or no? Or we're coming back empty? Yeah, no, not tonight, not tonight. We're just, but we but just have this one. in some occasions that happens, so right? You guys have somebody there waiting for you guys. You pick them up, and then you bring one in, take one out. Because yeah. that's what I filmed the other day. I, I saw that the other day. Um, guys were coming up uh, along some of the local marinas here. That in the city of Miami, you can go ahead and check out. Let me go ahead and show these guys. A little bit of these marinas now a lot of work happens like uh, on the river when we were passing over there when we saw Jones oh boy I'm feeling rain guys I am feeling rain interesting Wow that means we are gonna go back here and uh, make sure my baby does not get damaged. All right. She's fine. And just like that, everything could change in a heartbeat. So what bridge is this one now? 
This is 22nd Avenue. 22nd, and then the, the following one is what, 17th? 17. 17, that's, that's Greg's hardest one. He said that your hardest one is 95. Yeah, you know, like, uh, like it, it's, it's depends on the day, it depends on, on, on your mood, I suppose, you know, but, but yeah. Okay, know, on your like mood? 95, 95 is glorious for me. Um, you know, this, this, this could be a tough one to hear when they, they, they're bringing this, this big barge and it stays right here and um, it doesn't leave us much room at all, depending on also whatever gods you have in the marina. barge here tonight, but it's it's here you know, usually 25 days out of the month, and that, that goes back and forth from 80, I believe. What, what happens when someone just, like for instance, today you had that first issue, the first mission that we had was that um, yacht right there while you guys had to take the the express out, right? The, the uh, Baboon Express. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. What, what was the question again? So, so right now we're gonna we're we're heading towards the, the 17th Avenue, right? Right. Yeah. Now, hold on a second, because I'm I'm seeing rain already. So, so it looks like we're gonna get rained on here. Does that affect anything now, or? Yeah, for the for, for Spencer, yeah, it's gonna, he might get a little wet, but um. So Spencer, so Spencer's now. exposed. Yeah, you know, he, he, he can stay in the wheelhouse and a lot of times when it gets real bad, you know, just, you know, we, we work, we work with each other all so long now that, um, you know, we, we, you know, pretty much know what, what the other one's going to do, but, you know, sometimes, I got to tell you, I you know, a couple times when we got just get struck by lightning, Britain just gets struck by lightning. So have you seen any of that stuff while you guys have been out here working? Yeah, yeah. Wow. It happens fast. You know, I feel like I'm on one of those. I'm going to keep them in the, in the wheelhouse. When I'm up there, you also in the wheelhouse. Because I'll, I'll get there some time. Uh, now, it's always the same amount of crew members within the, the, the tugs? Yeah, yes. Um, Look at this, guys. Look how tight we are here. Wow, that is so crazy. Look at that, guys. Literally, inches, inches. Oh yeah, it's pouring, guys, it is pouring. That is crazy. Uh, center console just came in now do you do any recreational uh, boating uh, in your spare time that's not this or you just don't want to see the water once you're done no I know I love the water man I love it um, I, I have a, a boat myself I wish I could use it more you know but so let me ask you what what's what's the reasoning that they're bringing this out um, that they came at night is there is there a particular reason why no, no, this, we, we work around the tides, so when, um, you know, the, there's no rhyme or reason to it, basically, it's, you know, when, the, when the ships come in, they come in, when they go out, they go out, uh, day or night, it, it doesn't matter, you know, they're, they're, they're on a schedule, so, you know, it takes a lot of, uh, a lot of coordination for, for you know, every, everybody, a lot of people, but just for, for these things to come and go, you know, um, a lot of behind the scenes stuff that nobody, nobody sees as far as loading and unloading. Well, speaking of that, um, one of the things that I think uh, you guys don't get a lot of credit for is when they closed everything down, you guys were still trying to go ahead and make sure that all the cargo and everything was still moving. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that uh, I'm sure, affected how you guys were doing business, and I'm sure you guys were hearing a lot of things also. And you know, fortunately for us, it didn't affect just as far as you know the captains go and, and, uh, and crew. It didn't, 
didn't really affect us too much. Uh, you know, luckily we're not in the cruise ship industry, but um, you know, these ships they still got to come and they still got to go, and people still need you know the supplies, yeah. the food, you know, a lot, yeah. of, a lot of cars and you know, rice and beans and you know. Uh, yeah, well, you guys, you guys. Uh transport everything and where are these mostly going where where did the baboon express go does it go everywhere in the caribbean the Republic, Haiti, um, small 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 islands so they're supplying everybody around here yeah yeah they do caribbean. a lot of imports too so really that's you wouldn't even think so many imports but yeah a lot of imports so, you know like Levi's and um, I don't know President Day Beer you know I know we bring a lot of those and they got a interesting the back of the now the the captains of the baboon will also change as well based on the days that they work and all that stuff, or is it always the same captains? Uh, no, no, always the, always the same captains. Um, well, we have two captains on the lead boat and two captains back here. So Spencer moves up right now on, on the bridge. Uh, he's, he's the other captain. So you guys will rotate or alternate, and you'll be the spotter at one point. Yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll work. So basically, I'll work. I'll work one week uh, by myself back here, and then for two weeks, him and I will switch on and off. Cool. So he knows exactly what you're supposed to expect. And wow, that's uh, that, no wonder why you guys know what you guys are gonna think. You're, you're, you know what scenarios. Wow, and we're getting stormed on, guys. All right, well. Yeah, we all we, we used to work at another company together, us three. And, um, oh, yeah? Yeah, with, with, what's cool to me is, you know, the way that just the, the river kind of, you know, it, it's a very tight, tight, tight niche, uh, you know, of people. And, um, you know, these guys, you know, they started off as, uh, as deckhands and became mates and, you know, worked their way up in capital, which is. Which That's crazy. And, and last time we spoke off camera, you were telling me that. You and Greg were helping each other out, yeah. out in the river. Yeah, yeah. We, everybody helps each other out, man. It's really, it's really cool. Two separate companies. Hey, listen, I need a favor. Do this, do that. What can you do? What can I do? Yeah, well, That's actually, three companies now because Greg's working for the other company, which who I started working for when I first came to the river. Um, but I started with with those guys, and then um, you know, then uh, my old boss was, was was a very very kind guy, and he was, he was you know. I was lucky enough that he, 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 he plucked me up out of there and brought me over. Um, worked a little with and, you know, as, as, as it goes, you know, so, so here we are. We're all three over here. We all used to work with the other company together, and now, now we're here working together still. So it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's, it's great how it worked out. But yeah, the new Greg's been here for, I don't know, since he could, could walk. Greg, yeah, Greg, Greg, Greg was telling me that he was drinking uh, milk in the back, in the, in the, in the, in the galley here. Yeah. Okay. That's crazy. And Norman, Norman has been here, I mean, so many years. I got to sit down with Norman. I just want to crack a couple of beers with him and Susan and find out everything they know about the river. I told them, I want you to start from 1980 up. <laughs> just. They got, they got some stories. Uh, All right, guys. My, my book. We're starting to, to get here, guys, to, and if you see that, we're, we're getting stormed on. This is 17. This is one of the harder ones, and we already got a character over there in the way. This is so crazy, guys. Look at this, Chicho. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. This guy's going to go ahead and hit that dock. Look, look, he, he doesn't even know. He's going to hit the dock and he's going to throttle it straight over it to us. It looks like the current. Wow. Here is 17th, guys. This is one of the tough ones. Told you he was going to throttle it. Oh yeah. Luckily I have a oh boy, I felt that one.
Here's 17th, guys. All right, so for those of you guys that don't know much about Miami, now we're getting into the section of Miami that's become highly desirable here um, past this um, bridge here. This is the 17th Avenue Bridge. And if you see here, you have riverfront and you have a lot of new construction that's been happening, you know, for the last, I don't know, maybe 10 years. So none of this stuff was here 10 years ago. No, no, it's just amazing how the changes that are. Uh... I mean, the skyline of Miami has just completely, completely changed. Uh, changes, the changes have gone on by day almost. You know, that's why you look over and you see a building you have in front of that being there. Or to build it, but they go fast. Yeah, it's nuts. So there's always somebody working these drawbridges? Yeah, yeah 24 hours a day. 24 hours. So I just saw her documenting something also. Yeah, yeah, yeah she did, they document what, you know, the vessels that go through, the, the, the numbers, you know, obviously they know us, but not. Does, does, uh, does like a recreational vessel have to pay every time they open? No, 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 um, but just for, you know, like I said, purposes, or, you know, if you, you can't call for an opening unnecessarily, that's that they can find you for that. Second out, second out, second out, second out, just say you can fit in, if you can fit under the bridge and you call and request an opening, um, they can find you for that. You basically okay. unnecessary opening. You know, yeah, and it, and yeah, and then, then, I, then I miss my appointment and all of a sudden offers a bad guy and I'm running on Cuban time. I know how it is. <laughs> that Cuban time, man, I love it. This, and we're getting close to your fave, right? This, this will be, this is the 836. 836, which is one of our highways. Um, and we're not too far from Marlins Park, which is our local baseball stadium. And they're doing some construction on this now as well. And let me see, I can show them Marlins Park right here. It's in the backdrop right here, guys. So you see back there, that is our local, oh wait, Lone Depot Park, they changed the name? Wow, all right, well, they changed the name, guys. It used to be called Marlins Park, but I guess Lone Depot uh, got a sign over there. Lone, Lone Depot Park. There it is. The, and this is all new here, guys. This is the river, the riverfront. And uh, this has uh, a lot of, uh, you know, new condos. And, and a lot of this has been purchased. Wow, I got to get on the other side because the wind is coming, wetting me here. So. And this is, like I said, riverfront. I'm sorry, river landing. And uh, we're slowly getting into downtown area. I don't know, you guys wanna go ahead and uh, see what's going on over here in some of these uh, condos over here? Publix would be our, you know, our grocery store and you know, TJ Maxx is kind of like uh, closed and Ross is closed. And, you know, it looks like they have uh, everything all in the same building, which is kind of cool. You know, nowadays they don't want you to leave where you're from. Just stay, stay there. All right, guys, here's 836. So this is one of those spots that I saw you guys do at one point here on the river when I was filming and I saw wow you guys got maybe about max 10 feet on each side right 10? Yeah, yeah max, max. You know, think it'd be easy, it's a, it's a straightaway but sometimes it's just shifts and you know depending on how much cargo and the load you know, they like to suck up towards the shallow parts so you know, you know this is dredge here the sides aren't. So it'll do some funky things here sometimes. 
you just never know what they're going to do. It's just, uh, you know, we're just, we're just. So tell me, tell me uh, your very first experience doing this by yourself, Morgan. How was that like? Yeah. Oh, you know, it's, it's, uh, got to go. it was, it was, uh, it's, it's nerve wracking, you know, no doubt. Thank it's, you it's again for having me. It's, uh, uh, me over there. We're just coming through a second now. The first time, you know, the first time doing it myself. You know, just, you, just, you know that, that's that's our job, you know. If you get these, at the end of the day, you know, you got to take it bridge by bridge, minute by minute, second by second, and um, you know, get the job done. And uh, you know, everything else is background noise, but. Um, yeah, I've no, I've noticed that you guys just focus on the task and just attack each task one by one, and then. Whatever happens at the moment, you guys adjust, do it, and yeah. go to the next, go to the next, until you finish everything and come right back and call it a day. Yeah, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot for me, man, it's, it's a lot fun. You know, I, I really, really enjoy it. You know, you know I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, I'd rather be doing nothing else, you know. It's, 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 it's neat to be able to find something you do for a living and, and really enjoy what you do. And, and for, for that, I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm lucky and I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful. So do you got kids? Yes, yes. Do I, you, I have two kids. Do Actually, I, have three, I have three kids. I have a uh, stepson and a stepson, a son, and a daughter. So. A stepson, a son, and a daughter. So, yeah. And any of them want to go ahead and get into the tug life or what? You know, for now, they, they've been on these tugs since they were, they were, you know, just like Greg, you know, I've, I've changed both, both, both my kids' diapers on this, these tugs. Wow. Not this tug for dual. Actually, no, not, not this tug, but now they, they've been on it. My daughter was really excited when she found out we had bunk beds, so she came and worked with me one night and slept down here. And, uh, That's awesome. She really enjoyed that. That's awesome. But yeah, they both have their diapers changed on the tubs, and they've been doing this. You know, now it's like, you know, to, to them, it's you know, bring the boys down, and they're they're, they're going. You know, it's it's they're, they're spoiled, I guess. But so you know, I don't want to push them. I want them to keep doing. I want them to do whatever whatever they want to do. And, uh, you know, if they want to come to this one day, I'd, I'd be happy to teach them. All right, guys. So we're getting closer to downtown, and uh, now it's going to get very, very scenic over here for you guys to check out. So it looks like that storm is starting to pass. It's obviously a little wet, muggy. Now I got to be extra careful here with uh, coming up and down the ladders. So where's the straightaway that you guys get to pass each other? This, this is this is part of it right now. So sometimes we'll pass we'll pass west of the A36, and sometimes we'll do it east of 12th Avenue. Uh, depending on, on the ships, you know, the bigger ships. Because we'll I, I saw that one time when you guys were pulling, and when we, we were on the Hempstead Marine uh, the, on the Atlas and the Jean Ruth, you guys uh, were passing through. They pulled their ship to the side, and you guys just pulled right through, and you had enough space. Yeah. So there's very few places like that on the river that you guys have that option, right? There used to be more. You know, there used to be a few more, but now with uh, you know, all the, the new buildings and extra boats and stuff like that, we, we really only have this, this spot. You know, every once in a while with a smaller ship, you can, you can work out another passing situation. But this, this is definitely our, our best option with the, with the bigger ships. You know, we used to be able to pass by Miami Avenue. We can't do that anymore. With, with, with the bigger ships. So yeah, it's a lot of coordination, you know, and that's, that's why it's really nice that we're working together again. Right now, you know, we have a ship, you know, one day you might get delayed 20 minutes by, by Hempstead, they might get delayed by us, um, you know, but we got delayed back there, you know. Yeah. That's, that's just how it goes, you know, that's how it goes. But at uh, the end of the day, everybody talks to each other, everybody works, works, works with each other to work it out, you know, you know maybe push a ship back or, or you know, whatever we need to do to kind of accommodate uh, with what's in the best interest for everybody. I'll tell you, there's so much traffic coming in and out of this river, it's crazy. Every time you see it, it's it's, it's nuts. Guys, we got the uh, Merle Stevens, uh, so this is like a really, really popular marina as well, right? So, been here many, many years. Here's the next bridge. How nuts is this, guys? 
raining night. Such an impressive see how much rain is here but I don't wet my camera too too much I don't want to have that wet screen for you guys Look at this thing, this is nuts. Look at the Mac over here on the river. It's got a little scooter back there and everything. That's so funny. There's that beautiful skyline, man. You, you can, this will never get old over here. Wow. So if somebody wanted to become like a tug captain, where, where, what would you recommend they start? Where, where, where do you recommend they start? You know, what path? If, if you had to knowing what you know, where the things are now, obviously it's, you know, it's a bit different as far as, you know, what they need to know and. Uh, and I'd say, I'd say, you know, it's, it's start off start off uh, start off making a job on tug boat, start off, start learning, learning the ropes. And you know, pay your dues, stick with it. And, and, and just, just learn just from be, whoever's there, right? Uh, yeah, be, be deliberate and be, um, you know, don't, don't be discouraged. It's not going to be easy. Um, you know, and, uh, just, just stay with it. And then, you know, it's got a lot, of, a lot of perks to it. You know, the downside is sometimes you're away from home. You know, you get a lot of time off though, too. Most of these guys work too long, too off, two weeks on, two weeks off. Look at this guy's why he Yeah. Do a good job. Do a good job and don't get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. Be reliable. Keep your chin up. And, uh, you know, and, 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 and see it through. Like I said, all these guys, myself as well, you know, we started off, we started off somewhere, you know. Yeah. You're not just going to jump on, jump on it and, and think we're going to be able to, you know, start, start a, you know, it's really like that, man. Just like anything, it takes, uh, it takes time. Man. But, uh, you know, but uh, for, for me, it's well worth it. So, so who was the person who really taught you the ropes that you can say, I remember so-and-so really, you know? Uh, well, you know, my old boss, uh, Bo Payne, he, he's, he's started p and towing. Um, he, was, he was one of the guys, he taught me a lot. The guy, the guy I worked with first was Gary. Uh, he taught me a lot, a lot. Um, he basically taught me how to, how to tail ships. And so I'm very grateful for him for that. You know, just, just you, know, you get the opportunity, you got to, you got to, you if you're lucky enough to get the opportunity, you know, and then you and then you pass it on at some don't, time don't too. Fuck it up, you know. Yeah. Part of my language, but yeah. Just, yeah, you. Don't, don't, don't fuck it up. Get there, and, you know. Be, be reliable. Get on. Get there, and uh, you know, do the best you can. You know, some people are cut off for, some people aren't. You know? But uh, 
and then Spencer. Spencer taught me. Um, you know, I said he's been here for over 30 years, but he taught he taught me how to pull ships. Um, and, and as you know, wow. as it works, it's always uh, it's always entertaining. But um, as the words works out, I ended up teaching him how to. Uh, I taught him how to tail. So now he's the other tail lookout out here. So. And that's crazy, huh? That you know, little by little, you guys all help each other and. Yeah, it's great. It's great. You know, and the, the, uh, Look at this, guys. Look at this. Wow, this is happening. I mean, you would you have thought that this is happening while we we're having this incredible, incredible conversation? That is too crazy. So you're here having a conversation, you know, showing how easy your job is. I mean, how good you're at. This is crazy when you really think about all the craziness that this is. And every time you just see this, when people see this on camera, it's just, I mean, I wish anybody could just experience it. That's why I try not to unedit anything. I want, I want them to absorb the reality of what's happening, you know? I don't definitely want to interrupt you in any way. Look, now you have two weasels over here coming in. Probably. This is yeah. a very mellow night, actually. Uh, really? This is, this is. This is how it took me another, another day. We're coming in. We had, it was like a boat parade on either side. Right, exactly right here, too. I mean, they were, you know, feet up, you know, you know, a foot or two between them. And all the dust is off the sides. Uh, but on both sides, you know, what, what advice would you tell our local boaters, right? What would you tell them when they see you? What, what, what would you tell them that would make your job easier? Uh, well, don't panic. You know, monitor Channel 9, the bridges. Um, so they can see. Look, look at this. Coming. Yeah, look at this. I like, I like that. Don't panic. <laughs> Don't panic. Guys are pulling uh, So what bridge is this here? And then your fave. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no pressure. I, I'm just making the video a little bit more exciting. Don't worry about me, Morgan. Guys, if you're watching this video, it's because we we were successful. No, he, he's there. I mean, how many times would you say you do this a week, right? Um, you told these, you know, no, ships through here. Anywhere from seven to ten ships a week. Seven to ten ships a week. Sometimes, and, yeah, but, you know, max twelve. You can't work more than 12 hours, right? No, we don't work more than, well, you know, we don't work more than 12 hours at a time. At a time. Yeah. Kind of like a trucker, right? So you can't work a certain amount of hours while you do this. Yeah, usually, usually we, we work, you know, between six to eight hours, uh, I would say on the average. But, you know, that, that six to eight hours, is they're, they're, you know, they're action packed. So you, might, you, know, you might only work sometimes five, six hours and feel like you work, like, feel like you work well. But, yeah. All right, guys. You know, with these boaters as well, you know, I always try to give them like, as much room as, as we possibly can. And, you know, it's, uh, it's like body language almost, you know. So yeah. even though technically really should be pushing the ship right there, we're almost trying to give them room. Just so he doesn't handle them, you know. So, so, stupid, really. so, so because of him, you had to, to instead of push, you had to kind of like anticipate what he might do. Yeah, yeah, and I don't, I don't want to make him nervous, you know. But he's, he's got room. If, if I got to, if I, you know, need to delay my, you know, my turn in the next second or two or 
Then if we can, we just, you know, we will. But he's looking at me and you know, brother, I don't want to go over there and push towards him. He's going to get real nervous. And, you know, yeah, and he's going to flip, flip out, and then yeah, you're going to be. Times, out. You know, they got kids on these boats, and you know, they, you know, they put themselves in, in, in not the best situations sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes too. You know, the restaurants get put into you. Yeah, this is a very popular neighborhood right here, guys. A lot of uh, restaurants in this area. So, if you guys come to South Florida, there's uh, some very popular fish markets here. So, I would definitely recommend you guys come and take a look at some of these uh, fish markets here. So, let me get over here so you guys can see what we're talking about. Very nice, very scenic. You can actually have some outdoor dining in all these areas here. And uh, here it is. You got the first one here, it's called the Kiki. Oh boy, look at this turn, guys. Look at this turn, this is so crazy. Look at this, 54. Now, there's some, you know, hanging out, people come over here, just, just, I mean, have a good time. Have a good time over here in uh, South Florida. Now you have uh, Casablanca's, you have Garcia's, and you have a lot of other popular restaurants here, guys. I definitely would recommend you guys come over here and hang out on the river if you come this way uh, and enjoy this little area. A lot of people don't know about this on the river, but look how cool it is. You, I mean, right now, because it's just raining, so, you know, but look, here's Casablanca. I come here all the time with my wife. We enjoy uh, the seafood, fresh seafood. They catch it, they bring it, you know, almost from the same day. Garcia's is the same way, which is this little corner one here. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Wow. And for those of you guys that are visiting, just keep in mind that it's not too far from South Beach. It's not too far from downtown. It's not too far from Brico as well. Yeah, so they're, they're rebuilding this first street bridge. So that's one of the, that another, you know, part, part of the whole coordination to get these things out of the river. Um, you know, work with the, the guys on the bridge, the you know, yeah. construction guys, and, you know, again, everybody's working together too. So it's a pretty big project. We're almost to the finish line, guys. That is our beautiful skyline of the city of Miami, guys. Miami River, I wonder, I wonder if there's anybody filming where we began filming, guys. The innovator, Alfred Montaner, began filming over here at the mouth of the river, and it's it's taken off and I'm so happy to be a part of this whole journey here on YouTube to show you guys uh, my city. I'm really proud of my city. Look at this. Look at this uh, tug over here. And I'm honored to uh, show you guys. I've been doing a lot of walking tours of downtown and just to kind of give you guys an idea of what's going on. Wow, look at this turn. This is, this is incredible. Wow. Wow, that is so crazy. Man, that is so nuts. Should have anticipated, anticipated that one a little bit better. Look at that tight turn, guys. Look at that line. It's just stretching. Like straight up stretching right there.
look at that, guys. Tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna make you guys have a shot every time I say the word guys. So <laughs> you guys are pretty lit by now. Here's more, uh, this is the wharf on the river. Um, that's what they call it guys. And you can come over here, hang out. It's a uh, Thursday night while we're filming this. Uh, obviously the rain has just passed, but uh, this is uh, one of these up and coming places that people come and hang out. And you know, look, you got some kiosks there that some sell tacos and got some music, some bars. And the South Florida is open. It's open. This is the world famous 95 guys. Ninety-five. Look at this turn, guys. Look at this turn. This is whoa. Here is Captain. What a turn, dude. What a turn. Look at that, guys. How is this even possible, bro? How is this even possible? That... Guys, how is this even possible? Look at how much space. That is just too, too sick, dude. Wow. 
now I can understand why 95 can be interesting. There's that turn is just incredible. I mean, for me, for me that's, I, don't, I don't like it very much, but you just gotta keep coming around. If you stop, the ship stops turning, it stirs on the ship, you know, basically at 90 degree angle. So if you, if you catch, if you catch any part of the stern, you know, you're taking out the whole fender system. Uh, yeah. So we got uh, two more bridges, right? Maybe just one and yeah, another. Two more. Well, this, this one, two, three. So I guess we have Miami and the Brickle. Yeah. This is very pretty, guys. I want you guys to see this. How crazy. Man, this is beautiful, guys. Miami, Florida. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Look at, look at, look at our metro rail system. Working all hours of night. If you guys want to see this area in my walking tours section of my channel there's a section called Brickle Mary Brickle Village Wow look at this Mary Brickle Village and this is uh, Brickle Center coming up all this guys is fairly new you got places like American Social over here as well look at this guy 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 Wow what a special human being did you see that guy right there on that flat boat Crazy. But there's some of the most beautiful lights too. Yeah. Not the most beautiful at all. Yeah. This is crazy. Guys, this is absolutely breathtaking over here. So this is American Social that I was telling you guys about. Right here about next to uh, Brickle City Center. Look at that lightning, dude. And that's where our over, uh, our Metro Rail will uh, go over. Now this is Brickle over here to my right. We got uh, an area called Mary Brickle Village. Definitely would uh, recommend you guys take a look at my walking tour videos to check that out. Super cool. Um, very very touristy spot very good place to wine dine and uh, all around here I mean you've seen it for yourself some of the things that you guys can see on the river 
you got Casablanca, you got, you know, Garcia's, uh, the Wharf, all these places, guys. So definitely, if you guys want to come down over here, you're more than welcome. Look at this giant 60 foot rib boat. You guys ever seen this on uh, on the channel over there? When you're watching uh, my channel, you see a big boy rib. That is the biggest rib in all of Miami right here. That rigid inflatable boat over there. 60 foot boat right there, guys. Look at this skyline, man. And uh, here to my left is downtown. And uh, this would be river, riverfront. Look at, look at Greg. Look at Greg. That's Greg from Hempstead Marine, guys. If you want to see that first tugboat series, check it out. I'm going to link it there. Awesome, awesome team over there at Hempstead. And, uh, you know, these guys have all, you know, welcomed me into their, uh, into their family, man. It's been, I've been completely honored and blessed to be able to show what they do out here on the river. Such a tight niche and the fact that I'm able to show you guys for me is, is, uh, is an extreme blessing. We still have some lightning in the backdrop here as we pass the final two bridges. And, uh, and I will show you when you guys watch Boat Zone on uh, YouTube, you can see the people coming out and all the people in bathing suits and small bikinis are all being filmed out of the mouth of the river, which is coming up here to our right. Just a little bit ahead, but uh, we got one more bridge and it's uh it's Miami is Miami. There's nowhere in the world like this place. Look at this. This is a place called Riverside over here. Now, if you see what they're doing here, guys, they're trying to connect the river here. You see all this area here? There's like a sidewalk there. They're trying to make it so that you guys can actually walk along a ride bike and go up and down the Miami River and, you know, enjoy the river and go to different places. And Look at that. Break over back there, guys. It's under lift of that mast up now. Um, it's, it's also tight on the air draft, uh, too, so they build these masks so they can break them down and fold them down. So, they make them down so they had to bring it, they had to bring it down some? Yeah, they did, they, bring it, they just brought it up now, you can see that light a lot better. Is it, is it a, a hydraulic? This is the last bridge, right? Yeah, this is, this is Rico last bridge. Rico, guys, this is the last bridge. 
and I'll show you guys real quick the last bridge all right so all right I want to all you guys that watch my channel you see this ferry right here Poseidon ferry right here by the mouth of the river okay right here is the Poseidon ferry and this ferry will take you from the river to Miami Beach Marina you see where those people are all coming out this is a ferry that's new I did a video on the water taxi out of Bayside but this is another option so if you want to come from Miami Beach Marina you can come on the Poseidon ferry okay let them know Alfred sent you and now you know that uh, this is a good place now from here once you cross this bridge right here you have Mary Brickle Village is not too far you got all of downtown there's a lot of cool restaurants right here in this area here so definitely definitely and this would be considered our downtown to our left we have downtown to our right we would consider it Brickle and here is where you see all the boats coming out of guys when uh, when you saw in the beginning I did it I began filming out of here about a year and a half ago maybe a little bit less uh, and uh, I came and I started filming and I started seeing a lot of traffic coming out of this area and I wanted to show you guys and it's caught on and it's been an amazing thing and and here it is right here and you guys will recognize the backdrop got a capital grow right here and this is it this is it my friends this is it all right this is what you're normally seeing in the backdrop because when they're filming they're filming from here right and there's a circle here and this circle um, is uh, is an Indian uh, preservation site and uh, I try to try to see if I can put some information below but this is where you're seeing all those boats coming in and out of guys all the craziness on the river this is where you're seeing it uh, this moment we're going through Brickle Avenue bridge now the first bridge we went through Oakbound was 27 Avenue and this is the last one we're going through Oakbound Brickle Avenue be arriving in a port for another 10 minutes. So, here's a hotel right here. I believe this is the Epic, if I'm not mistaken. Very good location, and then you have downtown right there. Now, if you come down the street, you're gonna have Bayside not too far from here, to you know, you go forward to your left and. Uh, Brickle Key. This is its own little island back here. There's nice little restaurants back here as well. Very, very pretty guys. If you ever come like on a tour, come on a tour around this area and you guys get to see how cool. Now, in the direction I'm facing, we're obviously going into the open ocean. There's a base in here where they're gonna turn the ship and if you see back there, there's some towers that are straight ahead. And uh, those, are, those are actually, that's the port of Miami. And uh, one side is for the cargo ships and the other side is for the cruise ships. To our right, there's no outlet unless you have like a small boat, you can go through the small you know, bridges that are there. You have a Mandarin Oriental, which is a very popular hotel over here. Uh, very exclusive and uh, look at this yacht look at this now down this road right here we have uh, this is as far as it goes right here guys then you have uh, the Miami, where Miami Heat play. You got uh, Bayside up ahead. You have the bridge that goes to the MacArthur Causeway. 
and um, and that's it. I mean, eventually you go to Miami Beach. To the right, if we go up here to the right, uh, past these uh, buildings here, you have Key Biscayne, which is a very popular wealthy neighborhood down here in South Florida. I can see how this will never get old for you. Right, it's, it's beautiful, like uh, at night. I mean, you you, appre you appreciate it so much more. I mean, when we talked, uh, you know, I met Morgan. It's interesting because you had seen the first video and probably talked to Greg, right? That we had done it. Yeah. I was filming somewhere. I don't want to disclose where I was filming. You recognized me, right? And you were with your wife and you were like, hey, guess who I am? I'm like, who? You're like, I'm the captain of the Sarah. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right where uh, my kids play in the street every day, you know, so it's it right down the street from my house, I was coming back from, from work. And, and you know what's funny? Like, yeah, you, like you know what's funny? Right after you left, guess who came to say hello? One, one of your kids. Oh, yeah. Your, your son came right back with one of his friends. You know what his first thing he said is, hey, tell my dad I want to go on the tugboat. I want to be on YouTube. <laughs> so... So I guess if you want to give them all a shout out, do it now because if not, they're going to give you a hard time. So here's what, what's going to happen now. You're going to turn the ship now, right? And this is where... Yeah, we're getting ready to turn it here. we got to get across, across the, the you know, coastal here. And um, when we get out in the turning basin, we'll, we'll spin it around. And the pilot boat should be coming here in the next five minutes. So you'll see that the lights that might be them around the corner right now. And they're right there, right at the end of the port, right? Right next to uh, South Point Park. You can see them. All right, guys. Well. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. I'm just going to stop the line. guys the skyline of Miami wow man I am so honored honored to be uh, able to show you guys this uh, incredible view So that is Bayside over there where that Ferris wheel is. And then you have the Intercontinental over here. See where that uh, person is dancing on the building. Where When we have our drop, you know, like New York has their drop. That's where we have our drop right there on the Intercontinental. Such a incredible incredible story guys Miami River touring has really uh, impressed me All right, so let's start going down I want to give you guys the perspective from below Oh, maybe we can probably get the we can probably get a better shot back here. We can get uh, 
Ok. Did we already pick up Spencer? Uh, not yet. Okay, I, I was gonna be like, damn, I missed the shot. Now you're only you're only pulling with one one line, right? Now? Yeah, yeah, we're just trying to get the ships stopped up. Get the ships stopped up here and we'll spin them around in a second. We'll push them around and then pile the board and we'll grab Spencer. Man, I am so I am so first of all I wanna thank you guys so much for inviting me on here. This has been an unbelievable experience and the fact that I can show my audience Man, that is a huge blessing for them and for for a lot of people. I'll tell you right now, between what we did in the very first Tug Series and now what we're doing here, I mean, I'm sure maybe we've inspired a couple of kids to become tugboat captains. And they're gonna say, I remember watching Captain Morgan, Captain Greg, Captain Norman, Spencer. Who's pulling uh, on on uh, on the baboon right now? That's Louis. Louis. Louis's pulling. He's around a good bit too. Yeah. He was. He was. He was Spencer's. So Louis just turned on his lights back there. What's going on now? Uh, the guy, he's got the guys bringing in his lines right now. Okay. Okay, I'm showing like, showing like one one right now. Alright guys. We're gonna watch him spin. Let me get back. Let me get down there. I'm gonna go down there. Let's go and check that out from below. Let's go check this out from below. Get a different perspective down here, right? Look where the pilot is, guys. That's the pilot right there, or, or, or approaching. See, he's the captain who's gonna drive that boat out of here, this big old ship. Look, you see how he just boarded right now? He just boarded the ship right now. There he is, the, the pilot is on there. So he's gonna drive this ship out of this area navigate into safe waters and then this pilot boat will pick him up again and bring him back to where he was. How crazy is this guys? Look at this. We're turning her 
Let me let me get to the other side. Come here. Look at this, guys. Oh my goodness, what is this? Completely turned. That is crazy. Incredible. Hey, at some point, at some point I want to absorb this moment as well, right? Hey guys, Alfred Montana here. If you want to see what happens on a tugboat over here in the Miami River and uh, the Art Skyline, stay tuned because you have an incredible video something like you've never seen and it's all done at night so let's go guys let's continue she is on her own So, Captain, what exactly where is that uh, ship going? The first port, I think they're going first probably to Dominican um, and, uh, and then they're probably Haiti. Can we uh, make sure that Spencer uh, doesn't let my GoPro go to Haiti? I hope he's got a passport. Uh, oh! Uh, of course, now we have third. <laughs> we have a GoPro on that boat, guys, to give more perspective. And uh, Spencer, you know how they say, you had one job, Spencer. No, listen. Uh, yeah, that, that, no, that's that's that's, that's, that's our job. No, to, me no. is, that, to me, that's the most stressful job. Much, you got a little bit more back here. Uh, you now know, you got technically you're responsible for it back here, but up, up there, to me, that's, uh, that's much more stressful. There he is, guys. Spencer, la camera. You got it. We got it. He did it. He's got it, guys. The MVP, the eyes over here on. Wait for it. Wait for it. All right, guys. So. Oh, boy. That's it, guys. Wow, what an amazing day, bro. That is an amazing, amazing moment in YouTube history. That is absolutely incredible. You guys are awesome, man. Great job, Spencer. That is crazy. Now let's do it again. <laughs>
This is an incredible, incredible experience, man. What you guys did were incredible. Guys, you'll see these guys when I'm filming on the Miami River. Check them out on Boat Zone and uh, amazingness. That's what we do here on the river. Alfred Montaner, making a scene as always. Do me a favor, Captain. Just go ahead and put your hand right there like that and just get in there. Get closer, go closer, 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 go. Today's show was brought to you by the following sponsors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember, amazingness, that's what we do.